Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is um, Siju Paul, um, a principal recruitment consultant um, in Ireland. It's actually the Republic of Ireland. And some of you may know that the um, uh, Republic of Ireland is different to the Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is a part of the um, UK. Um, I'm working with a company called uh, GTM Healthcare Solutions. So I welcome all the doctors uh, from across the world uh, on behalf of Inspire um, uh, IMG uh, for this webinar. So today I will be talking about more about uh, the recruitment to Ireland, especially for doctors and um, uh, more details about the registration and uh, details about the salary and um, how you can make a career or a, how you can make a career in, in, in Ireland. So I'm just going to share a video and uh, then which will be much easier to, to go through. Um, now this session, I'm hoping to finish in, in an hour time, one hour time and um, Certainly, you are absolutely free to ask questions or in the chat box. Um, but um, what I would appreciate is um, if you can do that at the end, that will be much easier for me um, um, in order to um, not interrupt the, the PowerPoint presentation, if that is OK with you. So thanks once again and um, and um, especially welcoming everybody across the world. And if anybody from from uh, within the Europe, a special welcome. And those who are joining and, and viewing this video later on, uh, also um, um, a well wishes from Republic of Ireland. So I'll just um, share the uh, PowerPoint presentation, then um, certainly we'll keep on. Okay, so I hope everybody can see um, at this um, uh, screen I shared. Um, um, and certainly, um, as I said, um, my name is um, Siju Paul, and um, I'm a principal recruitment consultant, uh, especially for doctors division. So I only recruit doctors um, that is from uh, junior level doctors to consultant level doctors. And uh, the company is a TTM Healthcare Solutions. So um, we are uh, in based in Ireland, and of course our headquarters is also um, in Ireland. Uh, but we have offices in UK and um, and Northern Ireland and in Germany. But uh, mainly we all are based in in, in Republic of Ireland. So. Uh, and I joined this company since uh, 2010, 2010, 2010, and um, for the last um, 12 to 13 years, close to 13 years now, um, we're um, just recruiting doctors, uh, both as a locum and contract and permanent um, across Republic of Ireland mainly. Now, I do a little bit of uh, recruitment in the Northern Ireland, uh, which is a part of UK, and I did a bit of recruitment um, only the senior level uh, physicians, which is from consultant or above consultant, um, um, is um, is in the Saudi Arabia. So uh, today, I more talk about I we discuss about um, the doctors recruitment um, in in Ireland, and um, and uh, definitely there is some interesting uh, facts and figures. And uh, I welcome everybody to uh, take a note. Uh, if you have any questions in between. Absolutely, I'll be delighted to answer as at the end of the session. So, um, TTM Healthcare Solutions. So, um, we are one of the largest Irish healthcare recruitment company. Um, we have been um, in the um, in 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 the business since uh, 2002. And um, as a company, of course, it's not myself. Okay, so as a TTM Healthcare Solutions, uh, uh, we place a top permanent contract, temporary uh, doctors, nurses healthcare assistants, allied health professionals, support service personnel, and uh, social care professionals in Ireland, UK, and in the Middle East. Now, Middle East is, um, is, is, is um, Gulf, not all the Gulf countries. Um, we only recruiting um, two or three hospital groups in the, in the Gulf region. Um, that is in uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, certainly, um, uh, now I, I'm pr so proud to say that um, this year in 2022, um, two weeks back, um, uh, we won uh, three awards um, in the Republic of Ireland. So if, if you go into Employment and uh, Recruitment Federation 2022 awards, you will see this one. So TTM Healthcare Solutions is the agency of the year uh, when it comes to the large um, agency. And um, we won another um, um, award as a company best in practice for uh, especially for healthcare. Um, then uh, one of our one of my colleague um, certainly uh, went for um, uh, for the um, recruitment consultant of the year, and um, he won 
uh, the uh, the recruitment um, consultant of the year in the temp division as well so certainly um, as a company we are one of the best in the um, in, in in ireland um now um, absolutely of course there are other agencies we are um this is recognized by the employment and recruitment federation um in the republic of ireland now um republic of ireland only the republic of ireland which does not include the northern ireland so just uh, um, i'm just concerned i'm um, conscious about the time factor so i'm just moving so fast just um, uh, simple a few things um of course the greetings from ireland now this presentation i um uh, i made it for um uh, for a, we had a, a seminar a few seminars in um, in south africa uh, that was in um, uh, um, not last month it was in october and uh, myself and uh, one of our consultant um, um went to uh, two places one is in johannesburg and um, in cape town and we did this presentation so um so i thought i may use the same one which may have a better understanding for doctor that is this uh, this presentation is specifically for um, uh, for any anyone any doctors who wish to come to ireland and practice and make a career as a doctor so um in uh, just a quick um, on on um, the counties in ireland um, certainly there are 32 counties in total um uh, 26 in the republic of ireland of course six in the northern ireland um that is a part of uh, uk population is around 5 million um uh, probably um uh, compared to india um it's it's a very small uh, small country and of course um, ireland is a part of or a member of a european union uh, this is one of the typical um um in 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 dublin which is a Guinness in the St. James um, um, uh, Gate in, in, in Dublin, um, uh, just a historical one. And again, Ring of Curry is a beautiful place. Um, um, it's a very attractive uh, place uh, for uh, tourism and a lot of people comes all over the world. Again, um, this is Ring of Curry and Dublin Castle is very popular, very famous. Um, uh, certainly, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll mention that. Then um, uh, Dingle Peninsula is again a beautiful place for uh, tourism, and um, Arran Islands is, is definitely again a, a beautiful um, a tourist place in, in in the Republic of Ireland. Um, and and this is this is exactly what is even now. Uh, I mean, it's not like an old photo; it is an it's a live photo. So definitely, this is the current situation in there. So it is a beautiful place to be there. Uh, Kilkenny Castle is um, have a lot of um, histories. Um, of course, I have no time to. Go through that that is not important i believe but but it is something which which i must uh, mention um is kilkenny castle cliffs of mohar um is is very near to where i where i live it's only um close to one hour drive um and it's a it's thousands of people um comes on a daily basis and i'm not too sure whether you can see the people standing on the top of the cliff um as a small one so but definitely um it's a very attractive place um to um to visit as well um, Trinity College Dublin, um, very popular um, um, not only um, for Ireland, also for the medicine. So definitely uh, Trinity College is well famous within Ireland and, and across uh, the world as well. Um, just um, um, I'm just getting into the hospital group. So there are six hospital groups, main regional hospital groups in in ireland so um of course i don't have time to go through all of them in detail uh, this is this presentation is made for a two hour uh, presentation but we are trying to squeeze everything within within one hour including the uh, question answer so um uh, certainly um uh, this is a six hospital group and you can see it is it is it is um, segregated or is it is divided into different colors which which is which is definitely a good a good information if you ever coming to ireland and um, then this is hospital groups you can see ucc which is university college cork trinity college dublin which i mentioned before university college dublin rcc royal college of surgeons ireland and national university um, um in in galway and university in in limerick so these are the hospital Hos the university groups and of course there are hospitals attached uh, with each each universities there are 40 public acute hospitals in ireland um within that six hospital groups um it's not a as i said it is not a massive country but uh, 40 public acute hospitals and and just to give you an uh, an idea um in ireland um uh, the public hospitals are well 
um, um, it's, it's very good um, compared to, no, private hospitals are there, but public hospitals as good as the private hospitals in the in the Republic of Ireland. Um, uh, Rep uh, medical schools in Ireland, of course, I mentioned UCC, which is University College Cork, then Royal College of Surgeons uh, um, Ireland, which is RCSI, and University College Dublin. Trinity College, I mentioned in the couple of slides back, then of course, National University of Ireland, Galway, and the, um, I think the Limerick one is not marked, but it is a university, um, um, University of Limerick, uh, which is again a, another medical schools. Um, now, this may be an interesting part for you, um, uh, for any doctors who want to come to Ireland and uh, and to make a career as a as a as a as a doctor absolutely anybody um, everybody want to see at the end like either to be a consultant or um, or somebody want to uh, to make a career in uh, family medicine then of course the general practitioner um uh, and of course um uh, then then of course um and at the end everybody love to see a consultant so i'll just go through this and um, let me look into the time so um 42 11 42 so um so i'll just put maybe five minutes on this um i'm sure um, every doctor may aware of this so every medical school there is a intern um uh, internship uh, is attached so once you turn the internship okay so once you turn the internship which is doesn't matter it is um you did internship in uh, in ireland republic of ireland or in uk or in, in within europe or in india or any any outside so that once that is done, um, then you are eligible for uh, basic specialist training. So I'm just going through now. Every individual have a different pathways. Okay, so there is no fixed pathways, and and also there is a different pathways for different specialities. So when I say different specialities, let's say for example there is a emergency medicine, or it could be obstetrics or a pediatrics or a even psychiatry or maybe a general medicine. Now, general medicine, every, again, can get into different subspecialties called uh, nephrology, dermatology, uh, uh, gastroenterology, or endocrinology, or so on, so so neurology, and it, it's, it's wide open. So every special training is different, um, okay? But in general, this is, I'm trying to put everything into one PowerPoint slide, okay? So it is not the fixed way, uh, depends on the specialties, the number of years can vary. But that depends upon the, the specialties and the, the, the training years can, can vary. But in general, um, in order to make a, in order to become a consultant, in order to make a, in order to become a GP in, in Ireland, um, you need to go through through two training minimum of two training training schemes. One is basic specialist training, um, which is uh, normally in some speciality it is called BST, which is a basic specialist training, uh, which is on SHO level, which I will be showing to across to you later on. Once you've done that, then you get into a higher specialist training, which is called SBR or a um, registrar level. So SBR means a specialist registrar training or a higher specialist training. So that can vary from four, to four years or five years, depends on the different specialities. So being a, a senior house officer, you need to go through that basic specialist training. Sometimes it can be two, depends on the specialty. Sometimes it is three, depends on the specialty. And then you go through the next level, which is a higher specialist training, which will be another four years or five years, depends on the specialty. Then you will get a certificate called C CSCCST or a CSCST. So which is a cert completion of completion certificate of completion of specialist training in, um, in Ireland, which means you are eligible for a IMC special registration. Now, I'll be I'll be talking to the registration part um, later on, but this is just um, um, just about the pathways uh, of a doctor in Ireland. Now, I don't want to get in much detail because that may be a bit confusing. Because if somebody in I in India or somebody in um, in in outside Ireland. They may, uh, they may come to me asking, oh, can I get into the BSD or uh, basic specialist training straight away? The answer is yes, but preferably or the hospitals or the colleges will look for doctors uh, with a uh, previous Irish experience to get into the BSD. So if somebody asks me, oh, can I get a BSD a post or a basic specialist training post without any 
Irish experience or from India? Answer is yes. I mean, theoretically, yes. But but of course, the college will definitely look for a um, uh, look for um, uh, an, an experience in order to get into the BSD. Similarly, you need to go for an interview process for the higher specialist training uh, or a SPR training. Um, um, of course, of course, that need to, that is done on a on a national level, and uh, and of course, you will be um, selected depends on the the rankings. I know it is a bit confusing, but of course, um, of course, if anybody want to know a little more details later on, you can contact me through Inspire IMT, and um, and of course, I will be able to assist once you have a your IMC registration when you are ready to move. But this is the basic understanding or a basic career pathway of doctors in in, in Ireland. Now. Um, TTM Healthcare Solutions, um, especially in the doctors division, how we can help uh, you or any any doctors who want to come in Ireland or um, as, as a company. As I, as I mentioned, of course, we are a healthcare recruitment company. Now, medical division or a doctors division, um, we are one of the framework agency for HSE hospital is what it is called the hospitals in Ireland. All the public hospital group is called HSE hospital, which is health service executive hospitals in Ireland. Then in the Northern Ireland, it is called HSE, which is a health and social um, care uh, trust in, 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 in Northern Ireland. So we are one of the framework agency for both HSE and HSE in Ireland. Now, I'm not saying that we are the only agency. There are other agencies as well, but we are proud to say that TTM Healthcare Solutions are one of the framework agency for both HSE and HSC hospitals in, in, in Ireland. Okay, so, I mean, I mentioned about the specialty training scheme. This, I mean, of course, I we cannot go through every specialty in detail, but certainly we can, um, this is just taken um, uh, for the emergency medicine. Now, the reason why we took emergency medicine um, um, last time, because there's a lot of South African doctors were keen to come over to Ireland to specialize in emergency medicine and of course the, the doctor the consultant who was with me was a consultant um, a consultant emergency medicine who um, went through um, who went through um, this entire training program so what he did is the internship is one year or two year depends on where you um, normally um, um, graduate from then and then of course there is an interviews to get into the um, core specialty training or the BSD, which is three years for emergency medicine. I mentioned it depends on the specialties, it may vary. Then if anybody want to make a, a career uh, in, uh, in emergency medicine, then they have to do the MCAM, which is a membership of Royal College of um, Emergency Medicine. Um, uh, similarly, if somebody want to make a career in medicine, that is MRCP, i.e. that is membership of Royal College of Ireland or UK and different um, different Royal Colleges and I'm sure um, I uh, Inspire IMG may have some training program in that aspect as well but so I'm not really getting into that uh, but definitely so somebody want to get into emergency medicine will do the membership exam and of course other competencies then get into the next level of um, uh, higher specialist training which is SPR and uh, higher specialty training for uh, ED normally it is four years um, then some doctors go into FCM, which is a fellowship that is a fellowship of Royal College of um, Emergency Medicine and other competitors. Then that doctor will get a certificate called Certificate of Completion of Specialist Training, which is called CCST, which will allow you to get into a IMC special registration and you can work as an independent uh, consultant in the Republic of Ireland. Now, as, as we all move into, um, I'm, I'm sure the doctors want to get into any subspeciality, like somebody want to get into a peds emergency medicine or somebody want to get into a, um, um, in emergency medicine, um, um, any subspeciality fellowship. Absolutely, many doctors, many consultants um, go abroad and they do the fellowship, uh, which can be a clinical fellow fellowship and they'll come back and they'll be subspecialized, a super specialized consultant. So again, this is um, this is just on the on the emergency medicine part. Um, I mean, if it is a medicine, it is different. And of course, if it is a psych, it is different. And peers, it's different. And if somebody want to get into a peds,